Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. In today's video, we are going to talk about Black Star captain Andre Dede Ayou. The goal he scored for Le Havre against Clermont Foot in the French Ligue 1. We are also going to talk about Mohamed Kudu's performance for West Ham against Aston Villa in the English Premier League. And lastly, talk about Abdul Fattah Ishahaku's performance for Leicester City against Chelsea in the FA Cup amongst many others. So guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed to, thank you very much. And may god richly bless you so guys quickly let's jump into it and i would like to begin with mohammed kudus and also west ham west ham during the midweek played an europa game and won by five goals to zero against freiburg and out of those five goals mohammed kudus scored two goals and he was the talk of that match he was the highlight of the match everybody was talking about mohammed kudus so coming into this game west ham came with the upper hand west ham came from a very good win with mohammed kudus also scoring two goals so everyone in that team was very very poised to face Aston Villa now they were playing at home and Aston Villa also coming into this game have a very good form in the English Premier League so these were two teams that are really having a very good you know season and for me coming into this game i wasn't expecting too much from both teams i felt like they would cancel themselves out and that was exactly what we watched but in the game West Ham scored three goals that were all disallowed Mikel Antonio scored a goal, it was disallowed. Mohamed Kudu scored a goal, it was disallowed. And also, Sosheg also scored a goal, but then it was disallowed by VAR because he used his hand. But that game ended in a 1-1 draw. Mohamed Kudu did his best in that game. Especially, he did very well in the second half as compared to the first half. The first half, he was quite lost in the game. But then in the second half, Mohamed Kudu came alive. And there was, I mean, there was some, you no. Know, some confusion between him and then Douglas Lewis and it happened multiple times in the second half. It got to a time it became a bit more you know physical between Mohamed Kudus and then Douglas Lewis. They both received card for argument. That was most of like the head to head and also the the man to man marking that happened in the game and I really enjoyed it. It was a very dramatic game, especially getting to the close of the game. I mean the intensity of that game was very interesting to watch. So guys, let's take a look at Mohamed Kudus' performance in numbers for West Ham. In that game, he played the full ninety minutes plus extra minutes. He had a total touch of forty six accurate passes completed was 20 out of 22 accumulating to 91 percent one key pass dribble attempted successful was two out of five ground was one was six out of 14 and he was rated 6.8 by so far score and mohammed kudus even though today he didn't score a goal i mean he scored a goal that was disallowed but then today he didn't score a goal that counted he did well in my own opinion at least he showed us something that at least today he was doing so well and i felt like i mean Mohamed Kudus is giving enough to West Ham. I mean, the West Ham fans definitely like the way Mohamed Kudus plays. He adds intensity to his game. He's very serious. He dribbles his man. He takes on players. I mean, he's adding a lot to his game. And looking at a player that is currently fasting, he's under, you know, undergoing Ramadan and playing like this, it only tells you a lot. Yes, it only tells you a lot. Not only him, Kedzuma and the other players are also undergoing Ramadan and they're playing playing so well for West Ham. So, guys, this is the latest update concerning Mohamed Kudus and West Ham as they played 1 1 against um, Aston Villa. Let's move away from that and talk about Andre Didi Ayu. Today, he started for Le Havre against Clermont Foot in the French Liga. Now, they lost that game by two goals to one. But guess what? Around the 45th plus one minute, getting to the close of the first half, Andre the day are you scored a goal for Le Havre that makes his goal tally this season three goals now so far in the league one for Andre Ayu since he started playing the league one this has this becomes his 50th goal he's just 34 years of age and he has scored his 50th league one goal and this is a huge milestone for Andre Ayu before even the international break scoring a goal like this boosts your morale it boosts your morale you get me when the call out came out i mean people have their own takes on whether andrea you should be part of the squad or not but today he's giving a statement performance scoring a goal for le Havre, doing so well for le Havre. last month last month february he he did so well to the extent that he became le Havre's player of the month his goal uh, also won goal or a uh, goal of the month so i mean andre are you for le Havre this season isn't 
actually bad he did so he's doing so well he's doing so well in my own opinion and let's take a look at andre ayu's performance for le Havre against clement foot in that game he played 85 minutes he scored a goal total touch was 27 accurate passes completed was 11 out of 17 accumulating to 65 percent grand was one was two out of five and he was rated 7.2 by so far score he did well in my own opinion i feel like this is a statement performance before even the international break and we hope that he can give this and many more to the black stars so far he has scored 50 goals in the league one so this amounts to the 50th goal in the league one and this is a huge milestone for andre the day are you lastly let's talk about abdul fatah shahaku i mean today in the fa cup leicester city faced off with chelsea and that game ended in a 4-2 win for Chelsea and Abdul Fatah Shahaku coming into this game this is a huge game you see this is a huge game you are playing against Chelsea and the way the, the kind of hype Chelsea has I mean I was expecting Abdul Fatah Shahaku to turn Stamford Bridge upside down honestly I was expecting him to turn Stamford Bridge upside down but that didn't happen I just believe that the occasion was that like got better of him or probably he just didn't get his day because in the first half the first goal Chelsea scored was his fault. He lost the ball and he kept on you no know, misplacing passes, losing ball to the opponents at several instances in the first half. And he wasn't able to play the full 90 minutes, in my opinion. I'm not saying he's a bad player. I just feel like the occasion just got the better of him. That was Chelsea. I mean, the crowd, how big Chelsea, it, it just got the better of Ab uh, Abdul Fatah Shahaku. And also, looking at the game also, I mean, he did, just didn't get his day. I mean, against Kukurela, it, ju it just didn't work. Abdul Fatah Shahaku, it just didn't work for today. But guys, let's take a look at his performance for Leicester City against Chelsea. He played 63 minutes. Dribble attempted successful was 1 out of 2. It clearly shows you that today wasn't his day. Total touch was 30. Accurate passes completed was 9 out of 14 accumulating to 64 percent key passes two crosses three out of five ground was one was two out of seven and he was rated 6.6 .6 by so far score but still let's not forget Abdul Fatah Shahaku so far has three goals and ten assists for Leicester City in the championship. But today in the FA Cup, I mean, it did, just didn't go well for Abdul Fatah Shahaku and also for Leicester City. And I just hope that their main focus is to get promoted back to the EPL. So I mean, it's just okay to lose this one. It's okay to lose this one. Just focus on the main thing. Focus on getting back to the English Premier League. Leicester City didn't really play bad. I felt like the red card in that game limited how they wanted to play. The the rest of the game and Abdul Fatah Shahaku I mean he should take the opportunity serious he has also been named in uh, Otuado's final 26 month squad to play against Nigeria and also Uganda let's see what happens when he comes during those games but guys this is the latest update concerning black star players who play today for their club side Mohamed Kudus versus Aston Villa that game ended 1-1 yes Mohamed Kudus featured for West Ham that game ended in a 1-1 draw Abdul Fatah Shahaku for Leicester City versus Chelsea that game ended in a 4-2 win for Chelsea and also lastly and uh, uh, Andre the day are you yes Andre the day are you scoring a goal for Le Havre against Clement Foot and that game ended in a 2-1 um, win for Clement Foot so guys this is where I end today's video let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section thanks for joining me my name is Salem I'll make sure to see you in the next video Charlie we go vibe